Hello everyone, welcome back to Core Squad. Today we'll show a demonstration how to copy to DigitalOcean. First, to create a job, right click anywhere and say create a new job. We will skip the wizard. Here we give the job a name. Now, we have to specify the source, which is where we're going to copy from. In this case, we're going to make it local. It can be anywhere else. Um, it can also be a digital ocean if you wanted to. So for this example, we're going to copy from the E drive. So we can click on Browse, select the E drive. And then to copy to the destination, which is going to be digital ocean. In that case, we click on the drop down and we select S3 compatible storage. Now we have to specify an account to use. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and if you have an account already set up, you can click down arrow and reselect that account. In our case, we're going to go ahead and select add, give it a name. So this is bucket two. Now we provide the credentials needed. In this case, we will copy, we're going to copy and paste them. They provide the secret key. This is all you can be can be obtained from DigitalOcean portal. Okay. And then we specify the S3 endpoint. Once that's typed in to confirm that you've got the right credentials typed in. Click test, it says it's successful, click save. Now it's defaulted to that. Now that we've selected the credentials we want to use, we click on the browse. And we specify we want to copy to. In this case, I would like to copy it to this location. Click OK. And you can select other options if you wanted to do so. Click save. You have to select the option copy files instantly when you go into the cloud. Click save. Now to kick the job off, we right click on it and click start. Now it says it's queued. You can click on the progress button to see the progress. And it's connecting to DigitalOcean currently and it's copying the files. You can see we've selected multiple threads, a total of four threads. And the job is at 98%. It's a small job, just to basically give you a brief orientation of how it works. And once it's completed, it will show successful. When it's green, that means it did not capture any errors. This is how you can copy it to DigitalOcean, and you can also select to copy from DigitalOcean in a very similar way. You just right click, select the source, S3 compatible storage, select the account you would like to use. In this case, we selected an Aimdate Bucket 2. If you click on the Browse button, you'll see these are the folders that we've selected. Click OK, and that's how you can copy from cloud source as well, which in this case was DigitalOcean. Thank you for viewing. Please return back to watch additional videos.